Alert. Geraldo issues surprise Trump announcement. Libs want this hidden. In most cases, the mainstream media and President Trump are not friends. There has been this back and forth game for a while now, and it always seems to lead to the media scrambling for a factless way to demonize the president. Geraldo Rivera had the chance to sit down with, uh, on Fox News to talk about his recent trip to Puerto Rico following Hurricane Maria. Rivera explained that the press is extraordinarily biased against President Trump, having seen how he was treated in Puerto Rico and then seeing the press about how he was treated in Puerto Rico. It was almost an absolute 100% disconnect, Rivera stated on Fox and Friends. Following Hurricane Maria, Rivera had the chance to go down to Puerto Rico to survey the damage. During his trip, he was able to talk to President Trump and First Lady Melania. The Fox News correspondent pointed out that the President and First Lady were well received when they were in Puerto Rico. He described the crowds as being ebullient about his visit. Rivera pointed out that the federal government's response to Puerto Rico in general was much better than anyone is giving them credit for. The first responders and people still working tirelessly there are included in this. This president has the worst relationship not only with the press but with those on the other side of the aisle that I have seen since Richard Nixon, Rivera stated. There always seems to be some reason that the president is getting attacked, even if the event in question has nothing to do with him. One such instance include the mass shootings in Las Vegas. The president was blamed for the shooting, though there was not one shred of evidence to prove this point. It was simply a narrative that the media ran with because it got them ratings. He does not get the benefit of the doubt for anything. Anything he does is construed in the most wicked negative way possible, Rivera concluded. Perhaps the best evidence proving Rivera's point can be seen when you look at the incident in Charlottesville where one woman died during a protest turned violent by Antifa. After the event, the president came out and condemned all of the violence that took place that day. The media grabbed the story and ran with it. They tried to state that President Trump supported white supremacists because he didn't specifically call them out. When he said that he condemned all violent behavior, it was implied that the white supremacists were right in there with Antifa. Absolutely. But this explanation was not good enough for the media. So they decided to try and conjure what he said in the most wicked negative way possible to again Quote, Rivera, it's behavior we've seen time and time again from the left and in particular those in mainstream media discrediting President Trump and making it appear as if there's dirt on his hands is still the number one game in Washington. Thankfully, nothing is stuck and our country continues to strengthen. Absolutely, he right on point. Absolutely. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.